Hello everyone, welcome back and thanks for clicking on the link to watch this video. Kind of want to hash out the whole no item crisis, right, in, in QuickBooks when you're job costing. Uh, it's really important, very important. And, and, uh, and if you're just going to pass through time and expense materials or items and you're not really uh, starting with an estimate and you don't really care about, uh, you know, any item detail on job profitability or job cost reports like estimates versus actuals, then don't worry about it. You know, on, on your cost transactions, hit the expense on the expense tab or on the credit card charge or journal entry, whatever, assign the job. And then you can always go to, you know, customers invoice for time and expenses. And you, you can even do batch invoicing for time and expense now uh, for all of this cost that's been incurred and assigned to jobs. And that's great. But let's say that these reports, like job estimates versus actuals or job profitability, are in, crucial, that you need this uh, for your reporting needs. It's like a complete contracting, if you will, approach in, in QuickBooks, which it can do it. But you got to use items, right? You, you, you can't use the expense tab unless you're doing a zero dollar check for some things that we've shown in, in a few other of these job costing videos as of late. So items are the king as far as, you know, getting the detail. And you'll know if your client didn't use an item uh, to track some cost, even if they're not passing it through and it's like a fixed estimate and the customer has already signed off on paying for like $5,000 or whatever, right? You're not going to actually pass through anything to them again. You're going to create the, the invoice from the estimate, even progressively if you want. But you'll know if they did not uh, use an item on the cost side when you look at the, your profitability and job cost reports because you'll see a no item row at the very bottom. And I'll show you what that means. So let me just go and, you know, write a check and I'll write it to... Uh, Doug here, Oop, sorry, bank account is my checking and I'm going to tab out and click continue writing check. And I have some expenses, let's say. I'm going to actually delete the item here and I have an expense. I'm saying, well, I forgot some mileage, let's say. There's some mileage that, or let's just call it uh, some kind of, yeah, let's, go, let's look for mileage. Or maybe, you know, yeah, mileage expense. Let me go find this one. And you just want to pass it through uh, to what he did. And uh, here we go. Travel to job site. Expense. Fine. Say it was a, a thousand bucks. And you're assigning to a job. And you're thinking, great. You know, this is going to show up on my job report. It'll show the cost. I forgot to incur it or something like that. So you, you, you assign it to the job. And you go ahead and click save and close. Now, you'll notice I have at the very bottom my profitability report and my estimate versus actual. I have this no item here for $1,000, and that is not helpful. You're like, well, what is that? So, and, and I'm sure you see a lot of clients, is there are a lot of people that have their job reports that look like this, have no items at the bottom. Because again, I'm not really passing it through, um, and they've already signed off on it, but I, so I gotta use items. We gotta go back to that check, if you will, and change it. So, and, and it's not so much that, you can just even do a $0 check so you can go back to the original check and put it on items. So maybe I could do that if I go find Doug here really quick so you guys can see it. And let's say I have this check for a thousand, right? I, instead of using this, I would just then delete this and then change it to an item and actually look for, you know, the travel to, to site item, which could either be a service or a non-inventory part. I think in this case I did uh, mileage. It's gonna hit that same account. Right? And I can put an amount of 1500 or it was 1000 I guess, right? And then assign it to Mlong, your job. When you click Save and Close, notice now the report, the profitability report, the no item's gone, and now it's been added up to, you know, mileage. I have a little more there. So something to consider, the no item is critical, and it's just don't use the expense tabs on these cost transactions. Use the item tabs. And that should, uh, hopefully that'll help out. Now, if you want to know, there is another video you'll find uh, at, a, at the site here on fixing the no item using a $0 check. You can check that out if you want. But this is kind of just a, a under the, uh, how do I say, a, a theme or theory on if you're really, if these reports are critical to you, you got to use items. And when you don't use items, you'll know right away because on these reports, you'll see uh, the no item row at the bottom. Okay, and you'll know how to fix it where to go. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.